Hey guys and welcome back to a uh, another brand new Foot Manager mobile episode and in today's video we're going to be facing Tottenham, Man United and Burnley. So starting off the show we're going to be facing Tottenham at home in the Carabao Cup second leg is it quarter final semi final so let's see who the other previous fixture okay so yeah it looks out it looks like the winner between Tottenham and Chelsea are going to versus Burnley in the Carabao Cup final. It's surprising that these um, perhaps a bit smaller teams got through so far, but it's good to see. Alright guys, so Tottenham, this can be a big, big match. We're going to need to be very careful here. So when you bring it back, or should I keep Pedro? Pedro played really, really well in his last game. So I think I might... Uh, now let's put Polisic. Jorginho is back as well. Which means... Which means, means, means... And Kovacic is back, which is absolutely beautiful. So that means we're going to switch up the role a bit. I'm going to put... Defensive midfielder. I'm going to put Kante as a CM. Kovic is an, as an advanced playmaker. So Jorginho on for Gilmore. Reese James. How did Aspilicueta do last game? He did pretty well. I think I might keep Aspilicueta on. Um, okay. Mount. I think, okay, wait, wait, wait. we need Christensen. And I think that's about it. Yeah. All right, guys, we've got a full team, full strength. We've got key players back from injury, which we really needed for a big match like this. And we're going ahead with the thought of potentially versing Burnley, which isn't the hardest opponent you can face in a final, but it's better than having a Man City or Liverpool in that final. So let's hope we can get past this little hurdle. We do have two away goals, which give us a huge advantage, but we must capitalise on it and actually do it, play a good game um, in this upcoming one. So let's get this uh, underway. We're currently, both teams, we literally got... Three, uh, three draws and two wins in our last five games. Some key players, Christensen and Dembele, Ndombele. A uh, bit more offensive formation from Tottenham. They're, they're sporting a, a, a attacking midfielder with Eriksen, rightly so. A bit more defensive for us. We'll have Jorginho in that defensive mid and we've gone from a, a free flat midfield, centre midfield uh, trio to a... Uh, two advanced midfielders and one defensive midfielder so let's see what we can do we get a kickoff we are at Stamford Bridge so maybe that should play a part sloppy uh, possession from Martins and Tottenham have the ball back Martinez trying to chase for the ball he's not going to get to it Emerson gets to it nicely Jorginho can take Kovacic and it's just over good link up play from Jorginho and Kovacic two players which have missed quite a few games from injury and it looks like they're back and lively but here's Tottenham with a corner and it's a goal first goal and that's Tottenham's away goal I mean I hope the semi-final is on away goals and not head to head but I don't know I'm not sure Either way, we got a fight. We got a fight. Here's Jorginho to Kovacic. Martins. Martinez! Yes! Lautaro Martinez, third goal of the season. Good link up play. Some very, very open spaces from Tottenham. A bit surprising. Um, because they have some good defenders. It's again on the attack. Martins gets away from his marker really well. And Martins gets his goal as well. Two goals in the space of four minutes. And that's Martins first goal of the club. And it could not come. At a more important time. 
40 minutes in. Martins, again, lively on that right-hand side. Just look at him go. And it's a corner. It's just things like that that really matter towards the offensive phase. Just having players that can do that, really pressure the wingers or the defenders, the fullbacks of the opposing team. Sessegnon doesn't go anywhere. Good closing down from the players. So what seemed like a nervous or nerve-wracking first half did get turned around in the space of literally eight minutes. Uh, we were 1-0 down in 20th and then 2-1 up in the 28th. So uh, possession still goes to Tottenham. We've had more shots, more shots on target and obviously a higher team rating. And we're the only team to have one clear-cut chance. So far, so well. Um, again, I hope this is on. Even I mean to be honest, even if Tottenham score again, it'll be two two, and we don't do anything else. It'll be a penalty shootout, uh, because we'll both have the same score away and home. Okay, here's a corner for Tottenham. They're surely not finished, and a good <laughs> goal from Alderweireld. Bit of slack defending to concede like that from a corner, but we gotta get started again. 60th minute is Aspilicueta, Kante, Kovacic gets it again, Martins, and it's, ah, it's a goal kick, unlucky, unlucky, good attacking play though, can't score all of them, alright, Tottenham have definitely ramped it up in the second half, they've gone up to a 7.4 team rating whilst we're still on a 6.6, .6, so actually we were we lowered ourselves from a 6.8 to a 6.6, which means that Tottenham, unfortunately, have come out the stronger side in this second half, and it's up to us to kind of match that. And here's a throw-in. Could be an important one, but let's, let's put on Pedro for Pulisic, and we'll leave it like that just for now. Alright, come on. Here's Lucas Moura. Emerson needs to close him down very quickly. Not looking good, not looking good. Good closing down. And it's a corner for Tottenham. Oof, it's going to be a very nerve-wracking final few minutes to this. Uh... Yes, Kovacic. It's going to be a counter. Uh, not really, unfortunately. Kante gets it back, though. Pedro doesn't get it. Kante. Pedro. Pedro. Martinez. The last one. It's over. It's over. Yes. Martinez is an absolute OG. True poacher's goal. Always there to receive the ball in case there's a mistake or a potential chance. Free kick to Chelsea. I think that is the end of the game, guys. What a turnaround and what a game. Absolute spectacle and what a way to kick off this episode. Martins, unlucky. Need to keep possession a bit in these final few minutes. Oh no, oh no, come on lads, come on. And it's the final whistle, guys. We're in the Carabao Cup final, guys. And we're one step closer to our first trophy of this season. And it should be a good one. We're going to be versing Burnley in... Wait, is it confirmed we're versing Burnley? Yeah, we're versing Burnley in the Car Carabao Cup final, which is on the 1st of March 2020. So we still got a bit to go until then. But here's Zappacosta. He's just finished his loan from uh, Roma, which he had 10 assists and one goal in 28 games, which is quite good uh, for a fullback. Or he, he's also kind of like a wing back. But anyway, guys, all our attention is now being turned to the Man United game uh, at home in the Premier League. So we're going to be versing, are they, yeah, we're going to be versing the Premier League leaders. So any three points we can steal this game will be three points closer to that first spot. Okay, let's slow now. Some players. Okay, so George is going to Brighton. I've got a big dilemma on my hands because I've got... Um, do I keep the same formation? I think I might. And I'm going to start Pedro this time for Pulisic. Yeah. We're going to keep it like this. Because we played really well in that uh, final game. That last game, sorry. And let's get straight into it, guys. Uh, again, Stamford Bridge. Good dispossession from Kante. And here's Martins, very lively as ever. Martins. 
but sorry, Martinez, Pedro. Oh, just got stolen off us. Here's Martins again. And it is a corner kick. So good, good uh, little first minute spell of possession. <clears throat> and there comes the first corner of the game and the first potential chance. And it's going to be another corner. Here's Lingard. Man United got the ball on the counter. He hasn't got many options. He does have uh, Martial on the left. Oh, Kante commits a foul. Perhaps it was a tactical one in that spot. If he would have gotten away from him, he would have been in a good uh, spot to score. His rush for though, and Kante blocks it straight away. Good stuff. So I've moved Kante from a ball-winning midfielder to a more of a cent central midfield role. And, um, yeah, I mean, last game was his first match in that new role, and he's been playing well. Kept the defence tight and the attack flowing. So, no complaints, but it's just all about consistency. Here's another corner from us. Aspilicueta gets it again, and it's not a very good cross, and it's another corner. Uh, a bit too powerful for Pedro. But we do manage to get a corner, which is better than nothing at this point. <laughs> and it's straight back to another corner on my days. Okay, nothing comes of it. Some pretty poor corners, if I'm being honest, uh, from either side. Okay, free kick. Daniel James being summed by the referee. Is he going to get yellow? Yes, he is. Daniel James gets a yellow. Rudiger, good dispossession. Here's Martins again. Let's see what he's capable of doing. Indirect free kick. He wins us a free kick. That's fine. And uh, Kovic is going to take it. Christensen, oh, not sure if that was a header or just a shot, but anyway, uh, on target, and it was a defender, can't really expect a spectacular shot in that scenario. Approaching half time and nothing too too out of the ordinary on this game in terms of chances. Oh, here's Pedro. Here's Pedro. Yes, it's a goal. It's Martin. It's the second goal of the season. It's two goals in two games for him. Beautiful play. Pedro again coming with a with a good cross. It misses literally every defender and it goes straight to Jelson Martins, who's been having a really good time since his transfer and so has Lautaro Martinez to both key players I was a bit skeptical on Martins I've got a lie I've, sorry I've got to be honest at the beginning uh, because my main target was perhaps um, who did I want to buy I wanted to buy I forgot I had some targets though that I was uh, looking at behind the scenes and I couldn't get them because the, the transfer market prices are so inflated, it's ridiculous. So the sensible option was to get Martins for the budget we had at the time. And it turns out to be a good purchase so far. He's been playing well, he's got good speed, everything you need from a from a winger or an inside forward. Here's Martins again, unfortunately he can't get to that, but Espelicueta picks it up. We're really controlling that midfield. That central midfield position is literally controlled by us, by Kante, by Kovacic, which is really good. And Jorginho is also doing his part in that uh, defensive midfield role. Just uh, closing that gap between the attackers and the defenders. So yeah, so far so good. 1-0. Still not enough to win the game, but at this moment, um, it's good that we are having the better chances of the game. And it's still early second half, early on. Still plenty can happen. Team rating, got 6.9. Man United have 6.3. And the scoreline reflects that rating. A yellow card here, I'm not sure for who. Uh, yep, yeah, not sure. Here is 
So, no, sorry. I thought it was a highlight. I don't know what I wasn't paying attention. 65th minute, though. And still nothing. It's just literally, we're just staring at commentary right now. Come on, lads. Come on. This is probably a world record for me not actually seeing a highlight literally since the moment. Let's make a change. 86 minute. Holy crap. Did I change something in the settings back? I don't think so. I didn't click anything. It was fine last game. Alright, let's make some changes. Uh, we got about two minutes and then we're going to find out how much added time there is. It would be a really, really good uh, three points to get to uh, further our league standing. Pedro Martins, eight nines. They're doing absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm going to point Abraham from uh, Martinez. And... I think I'll leave it at that. I don't want to really ruin the dynamic of the team, especially in that uh, midfield, which have been doing really well. Otherwise, I would have put on mounts. Here's Aspilicueta with a free kick. Uh, a very, very poor free kick, and I hope it's not going to cost us. Kante picks up really well. He's going to go on the counter. He's got Martins, and Martins loses it. A bit uh, sloppy f first touch there, but... Uh, we just need to waste a bit of time. And that's exactly what we're doing, booting it out. And it's a corner. That's exactly what we needed. Going to waste a few more seconds before we take it. And... Here's a spill of Quetta. Abraham! Oh my, nearly got his sub. Substitute goal. It just goes way over though. A bit powerful. And here's the hair. I straight to Jorginho. Oh my days. It's Kovacic. Abraham. Pedro. <clears throat> and the final was the goals, guys. We get the three points. At Stamford Bridge, against none other than Man United themselves, the Premier League leaders at this stage in the game. Martins with the winner. Really good to see. And it seems like our, our unchanged lineup, except for... Did we, yeah, Pedro was the only guy we changed, I think. So, except for that, it looks like it paid off. We get Team of the Week, we get Martins. He's the only Chelsea player. Surprisingly, I thought maybe Martinez would be up front, but I guess not. So he's in the team of the week, sorry. <clears throat> sorry, let me see this. Pedro will be out for a week. Okay. The worst in Burnley, I thought, I thought somehow it would have been the cup final, but no, it's, it's in the Premier League right now. Yeah, so after this game, the next episode will be a really, really big banger. We're going to have Aston Villa at home in the Premier League, and then we're going to take a break from the competition and start with the Champions League first uh, first round or the knockout stages at home to Napoli and then we've got the Carabao Cup final which we're all looking forward to against Burnley on the 1st of March so plenty to play for this season and let's check the Premier League standings um, yeah we're still fifth but I did shift some stuff because now Tottenham or any of the teams above us lose once and we win we're basically uh Always to go over them, except for uh, Tottenham because they have a uh, high goal difference. Okay, let's look towards Burnley. Let's get a taste of how they would play. Let's just pretend this is this would be a cup final. Okay, so we've got Aspilicueta, which is a bit knocked, so we're probably gonna have to bring in James. Um, Pulisic on for Pedro. Alright, so I think that should be about it, guys. Let's head straight into it. Burnley not doing it themselves, not doing too bad themselves. They've only got one loss in the last five games. <clears throat> uh, yeah, similar formations, kind of. I mean, uh, Burnley are just playing it a bit more defensive. They've got two defensive midfielders and one central or more of attacking one. But let's see. I mean, it was always to be expected that a team like them maybe would um, maybe camp a little bit and wait for their chances, which I think is what might happen. I mean, they're playing at home. They've got the home advantage. They just need to play it out and uh, maybe frustrate us a bit to get those three points. But here's Jorginho to Pulisic. Good feet from the American. 
And Martinez, it was always oh, offside anyway, but he did miss a one-on-one, -on -one, which uh, disappointed me a little. Had that not been offside, it would have been a big chance wasted. Christensen, we pick up the ball straight away. Thirteenth minute, and so far nothing too much except for that uh, offside chance we had. Here's Emerson. Probably gonna find Pulisic. Yep, American Martinez, and he's not gonna miss this time, is he? What a goal! Good play from Pulisic. He's back in the team after getting uh, temporarily replaced by um, by Pedro. Here's Jorginho Kante. Martins, oh, dispossessed, unfortunately. But I feel like this formation does work a bit better with Jorginho as a, in his natural role. Um, but then again, we only switched the formation because we had key players injured. You know, we had Jorginho injured and we didn't have anyone else capable of filling that defensive midfield role. So we just switched to a free central mid trio. Here's Burnley. James has to, yep, sensible clearance, considering we've only got a few seconds to half time. Okay, guys, half time. And yeah, so far so good. Martinez with another goal to his tally. So it's looking good. Here's Martins and... Oh, okay, sorry, I thought it was a free kick. Okay, um, yellow card for someone, no idea who. Again, riding dangerously here with a 1-0 lead, we should perhaps seek to extend it, but that will come soon. Uh, there is a foul here, was that in the box? From what I've seen right now, it wasn't. Yeah, it's a free kick that happened outside, correct decision, it seemed like it was outside to me, but it was still quite close. Oh, to the line, here's a Pulisic with a horrendous cross. Not very good, but he did have an assist this game and he's been performing quite well. So we'll let that one slide. Just hoping it doesn't come back to haunt us later on. If uh, Burnley score a 90th minute equaliser, that'll be a pretty bummer. Pretty big bummer. I was saying we need to stop racking up three points, and that is exactly what we're doing. We've got two wins from two games so far at the start of this uh, episode, and we're just about to complete our third one if we can uh, manage to hold on to this. Okay, so let's bring on... Let's bring on Hudson Odoi for Martins. He's not been playing that well, Martins, but it's fine. It's, he's going to have up and downs. And uh, let's bring Abraham... In for the final six minutes of the game and we get a corner here just waiting for the changes to happen real quick okay here's Rudiger and nothing comes of it Jorginho is going to get yellow card here probably a tactical foul in these final few minutes just to uh, draw out some seconds and here's another free kick again more more seconds for us and his covered shit and oof, good save from Pope. He got a bit pressured and he probably panicked because uh, there was a defender closing in and covered shit and he's not really the na most natural finisher out there. No, oh, no, he's such an way. He's got to be sensible with this. Very good, very good counter. He's not going to get to that, is he? Unfortunately, nope. Be careful here, Kepa. Very careful. Mm. And it's it's a it's a it was offside. It's free kick. Okay, that's good. Okay, is Emerson to Pulisic goes out for a throw in. More seconds on our side. That's an Adoy. Abraham. Oh, good chance there. And it's another free kick for us. It's a final whistle anyway. Doesn't matter. One nil guys playing away from home. We got a first taste of what Burnley are like. Um. That's what we're going to face them in a couple weeks' time in a big final. So, Martinez again with the goal. Let's just... Uh, well, Man United. 
4 0 on my days. Pogba doing quite well. 15 goals this season, a 7 assist. Holy crap. That's quite good. We've got William back with the light training. He's a, he's a good addition to have in our squad. He's going to offer up uh, a bit more competition for Hudson Adoy and. Um, And uh, Martins. But anyway, guys, we got Aston Villa next. Then we got Napoli in a big, big Champions League game. And then we got uh, Burnley in the Carabao Cup final. And then Derby in the FA Cup. Premier League uh, title race still looking very tight. We're only literally three points behind the leaders, which are now Manchester City. Uh, so, so far, we're doing well. Uh, let's check out the performance from our new players. We got Martins here. Five goals in six games, one assist. What more can you want from an attacker that you just played? Nice, paid. Sorry, ninety six million for. And then you also got uh, who? Where's Martins? Oh, there we go. Martins, ninety million rated, and we only bought him for about sixty. So he's he's experienced a thirty million increase in value. So so far so good. Um, yeah, two goals, one assist in five games in his debut couple games. So uh, pretty good. We also bought him. Um, Halfway through the season that in the January transfer market, so he's uh, a bit fresh off the boat. Uh, he's got a lot to adapt to still. It, it would have been different if we bought him in the summer. He would have had more time, and by now he probably would have maybe perhaps hit in double digits in terms of goals and perhaps assists. But so far, so good, guys, progress-wise, and I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you in the next one.